Prepare to be blown away by the cheesiest burgers in Tokyo. We're checking out a burger joint that takes gooey melted cheese to a whole new level. Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining us. When most people think of Tokyo, they envision sushi, ramen, yakitori, Japanese food. But did you know that Tokyo does burgers really well? Today we're in the Ueno district of Tokyo. This is where you'll find the famous Ameyoko Market as well as the sprawling Ueno Park. We're checking out American Diner Andra, famous for their insane cheesy burgers and other sinful offerings. It's our first time and we've been craving a good burger so we're kind of excited. And if you travel to eat like we do and if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe. So the place feels like an old-fashioned American diner or like an old-fashioned burger joint in America. It doesn't feel like I'm in Japan anymore. I can already smell the food cooking. Everything smells amazing and I am hungry. We're both starving. So we ordered a special burger. It's cheese in. Really amazing. And it's hot, hot, hot. The beef flavor is good. Outside, it's kari kari, it's crunchy. I love this texture. Umami of baga came. Mm. All right, guys, it's my turn to dig into this smashed burger double cheese special. This is insane. This is like the cheesiest burger I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you, Oh. Mm. Oh man, oh this is so good. And because they are smashed burgers, like Satoshi said, the surface of the beef is a little bit crispy, and I, which I love. And the burgers themselves are super juicy. And of course, you don't want to waste the cheese, so you can just dip your burger yeah. into the cheese yeah. like this. I love you to do that. Mm. Tokyo knows how to do their burgers. All right guys, so this is the burger with a topping of mac and cheese. And when they say topping, it's literally a volcano or an avalanche of mac and cheese lava. <laughs> Look at that, so wow. nice toasted bun. And we have all that mac and cheese with some kind of sauce on the top. Looks peppery too. And this one is also a double patty. First, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take a bite of the, the mac and cheese. I wanna see what it tastes like. Mmm, that's pretty good mac and cheese, guys. It's peppery, just like how it looks. It's super cheesy. I don't know like what kind of cheese they're using, but it is delicious. Way better than like the craft box mac and cheese. I could just have like a bowl of this. And I'll be super happy right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a very good combination, mac and cheese and this burger patty, smashed burger patty. Mmm, the mac and cheese is really tasty. Good cheese flavor, which is combined with the macaroni. Mmm, -hmm. and the meat flavor, the combination with this meat flavor is also very good. Mmm, 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 mmm. -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this monster right here. That is wonderful. I feel like there's like some kind of like chili flavoring, like chili spice. Not the spicy chili, but you know like the chili, like the US chili flavor. Visually you would think it's just mac and cheese and burger, but the chef has added some chili powder. So it's a lot more complex. There's layers of flavors. Oh my God. This is amazing. This is um, absolutely satisfying. Right, we ordered one more thing, guys. We ordered the poutine. They actually have poutine here. This one looks like there's some cheese curds and some gravy looking thing with a little bit of parsley on top. This is a small. Can you believe it? Yeah, this is a small size. They have small and large. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That also is good. You know, the mm. fries are nice and crispy. Mmm. 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 Mm. So, yeah, this is definitely like cheese, but. What kind of sauce is it? Kind of tastes like mm. chili, huh? A little bit like chili. 
like a mild chili. By the way, there are so many things on the menu that caught my attention. Here they have sandwiches, including Philly cheese steak. And I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, right? I lived mm -hmm. there for like a year, so that's one of my favorites. So that's something I'd like to try mm -hmm. next time. Cuban sandwich. Cuban sandwiches, they also had steaks, they also had um, tacos. And yeah, pepper rice too. And, and nachos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they also have milkshakes as well. But as you can see, it's a lot of food. You get a lot of bang for your buck. So, yeah, I don't think we can eat anymore. I think this, I think we just have to call it a day after this meal. Come again. Here. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really, really satisfied. This burger was amazing. I am beyond satisfied and beyond stuffed. I, I, I can. I, I'm just gonna fall asleep real soon. And I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't eat the whole burger. That's how big it was, especially the mac and cheese burger. Wow. <laughs> But like I said, I could just have a bowl of the mac and cheese and call it a day. I really, really enjoyed it. And the burgers were really outstanding. Some of the best burgers I had in Japan. Yes. And one tip, before come to this shop, please check their Instagram. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because we couldn't find the mac and cheese burger on the menu, but they had it. So that's on a request basis. So if you follow their Instagram account, you will see some interesting burgers like the sour cream and onion burger. They have their in and out tribute burger. So they only serve those to those following their Instagram account. So make sure to check their Instagram account. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.